Davide Brivio, team manager of the Fiat Yamaha team. Hi, Davide. Ciao. Year after year, Valentino remains at the top of his sport. What do you think his secret is? Uh, it's no secret. Uh, there is a, a big job that uh, he, he puts in, his, uh, in this sport. Uh, uh, of course, he has a great talent, but uh, he also spends a lot of time on preparation, training before the races, and also during the weekend uh, to, to prepare the race, uh, set up of the bike and thinking about the strategy. And uh, so this is, he spends a lot of time and a lot of energies in this. And of course, he has also a great uh, motivation uh, to remain at the top. So all together, uh, gave us uh, Valentino on these performances. Who do you think Valentino's biggest threat is this year for the championship and why? I will put uh, Stoner and Lorenzo on the same level as uh, main competitors for the championship uh, because at the end of the last year and during the last season they were very, very strong. And of course uh, Pedrosa as well, he could have uh, a bike improve for this season. So I think these four riders uh, will be the main, the main player for, for the championship. Uh, but then, of course, we're also waiting for uh, uh, the, the rookies. Uh, first of all, Ben Spies, which is uh, entry with Yamaha. So we have another, another strong rider in our family. And uh, Simoncelli and maybe others that in some races they could be very, very competitive and at the top. But I think that for the championship we have to consider these three, four riders as usual. Valentino admits that there were times when he made mistakes last year. How do you plan to make sure that doesn't happen again this year? Uh, we made a few mistakes on, on the wet races where we're not traditionally very strong. Uh, but I think uh, that from 2009 uh, we learned that uh, all competitors are very strong, very motivated, and uh, we have to, to consider them at the top level. And uh, we have to accept some time to finish uh, uh, behind if it's not possible to win. This, I think, is the, probably the biggest lesson in 2009. And uh, so we'll see. We try to apply in 2010. <laughs> Valentino will have the same team of mechanics once again this year. Can you give us an insight into their working relationship and why you think it is so successful? With some part of this team, uh, Jeremy Barges and the Australian guy, Valentino is working for more than 10 years. Uh, but now this is the seventh year in Yamaha and uh, we, are, we are a Yamaha group. And I think uh, the, 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 not the secret, but uh, the, the chemistry that keeps uh, uh, the team strong is the, the motivation and the competitiveness uh, spirit that everybody has. I think so the same motivation that Valentino has on remaining the number one, he puts, he transfers to the staff. And everybody involved in, the, in our group uh, tries to, to be the best in his job, tries to improve as much as possible. Even the, the most common actions and operation during the weekend, we always try to see how we can improve, how we can do better than other teams. So this, uh, this continue uh, willing and spirit to improve, I think, uh, keeps uh, everybody at the top. There will still be a wall in the garage this year. How much information about each rider's setup is available to their teammate and how much is kept confidential? In 2010, we will have a, a small change in this sense uh, compared to 2009 where, let's say, the channels, they were completely open between the two riders during the weekend, during the practice. Uh, this year, we uh, taking in consideration that the two riders will be actually main rivals for the championship we decided to respect this, uh, this competi internal competition, to respect uh, uh, their own uh, uh, way to, to race and to approach the competition. Therefore, during the weekend, the two teams will be much more independent. The channel will be more closed, let's say, so not, not many information can be exchanged between the two teams inside the garage. Of course, at the Yamaha Motor Company level, uh, back in the factory or back in the office, uh, the engineers, they will have access to the old information. But the two teams inside the garage will work more independently, even from technical point of view. 
Can you tell us any news about the 2010 Yamaha YZRM1? The work has been concentrated in two main points. Uh, first of all, the chassis to improve even further the, the good uh, characteristic of our machine and uh, especially on the engine, on the durability of the engine. This is due to the change of regulation because for the 2010 we, we can use only six engines for the full season, for the 18 events. So uh, this means that uh, the engine have to have a long mileage, they have to, to, to last for a longer time. And this is where the engineer has concentrated most of uh, their energies. So the engine has to remain fast with good performance, but uh, they have to go for much more mileage. This is not easy, and uh, the season will tell us if we work it well or not.